Torico, Torico chapter 273, y'all. So, it's gonna be quick, gonna be a quick review. Probably, arguably the quickest review I've ever done of Torico, no lie. We're on our way to the gourmet world, and by the end, we're in the gourmet world. At least, the early stages, right? And now I can see why the, the Yoto, Yoto Harbor, or the Yoto, um, continent, Oh, they're landing on the Yoto continent. Y Yuto continent. Um, they're taking the harbor of the evil spirits. I see why this is the most, what they call, arduous and most difficult um, route into the gourmet world. Because literally, you're stepping into the gourmet world. Not only that, it's like, it's crazy. It's a graveyard of ships, yo. It's a graveyard of ships. Like, literally, there's no land. What the mess is going on? Like, you see bones and spirit. It, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But anyways, there's only a few important parts of this chat. Number one, the tracking mechanism. The, um, what they call it? Doesn't matter. Deals with tra uh, the capture levels. It's like this tablet slash tray kind of thing. Tablet looking like a tray. And they got these wrist watches. And you don't. Unlike the measuring tongs, which I already thought, why don't they just use laser pointers? They use a laser pointer, and it gets the capture level identification. And so, I mean, Torko uses on this, like, crab meat level, and then, you know, Komatsu's explaining all this jazz. And he's saying how actually somebody came in, so we got some more mystery. Okay, Mr. Toshi, okay. Somebody came in and delivered all these things, because it has not only the 300,000 plus uh, already known ingredients in the human world, but it has several million ingredients from the gourmet world. And, uh, you know, Toko admits that that's a lot of, there's only a few amount of people in the, in the world that could have done this. And Zebra's like, yeah, it's not that impressive. You know, there's got to be a lot more in the gourmet world. But it is what it is. But uh, the mystery person, and they're in, you know, Sonny and all them are guessing about each right. And one thing I had to mention about Sonny that I forgot to mention in the last review is the dude that was there supporting him was the gourmet DJ and, the, and some other people and his uh, friends or whatever. So, is that going to play a part later in the um, in this series of Torico? I'm just thinking One Piece for a second. Oh, my goodness. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. But that's just something to keep in mind. Anyways, so, up comes this kind of ray-fish hybrid thing, this Rana whatever, and they use it. And I got to admit, yo, this Octomelon... This thing is flying! This thing is cruising across this motor cruise. Vroom, vroom. Like on some freaking race car, NASCAR, uh, hydroplane status, okay? On the man, scooting across the water. And uh we didn't see any animals. In uh no Union, Terry, Quinn slash Queen, or Kiss. We didn't see any of them. But uh also I did notice that um uh, they took the the plant house kind of mechanism that um complex i should say that um troll king of the nitro chi chi was in they took that that's on top of um the octomelon and komatsu actually hit in the house when the the rate came up he's like it's a 299 and they were like yo 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 already and according to coco yeah pretty much they're already in, in the gourmet world, or they're in approaching it already. So they were about to handle it, and then you just see, I'm thinking it's some kind of creature. No, it's a thorn wave. Like they're in the thorn sea, outside of the poison, uh, poison band, poison sea, poison river, something or another. So I was like, whoa. So these creatures, there's some creatures enough to be able to get past that poison. But anyways, so this thorn sea, you know, they're, they're cruising along the octomelon. And apparently this creature sensed the octomelon. They're about to go in. You know, uh, Zebra is about to do... Zebra Zebra needs to take an L sometimes. He's got to take a loss. Because he's too cocky. He's talking about cockiness. He get, he's getting cocky. Okay? He's saying junk doesn't matter. I'm just going to take things out. He's pulling some Vegeta. He's going to need to get... He's going get, to need to get smacked down sometimes. Just being real. I'm just being real. He might be powerful, but come on, man. Come on. Being too cocky. Being too cocky. Anyways, so you got you got Zebra using voice missile. Okay. You have Sonny using uh, super spatula. You have Coco using poison cannon. Nice. That's nice. Look, man. Coco has some of the most beastly things. But how in the world is a poison like? 
how poison is used for an offensive. I don't know how poison is used against inanimate. I, I won't. Uh, does water count as inorganic? Yeah, it's pretty much inorganic without uh, the life. But anyways, whatever. It is what it is. It's Torco. And Torco uses a knife. And he cuts Torco's... I gotta say at this point, Torco is the most powerful of the four heaven kings. He uses a basic knife and is cutting through them. These waves like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Like they say a hot knife, but it just casually swipes. And, and, and what it from it seems like that Toko's the only one that's been to the, the Gorman World. And yo, shouldn't Komatsu be a little more powerful? He's hiding in the I don't know, man. I don't know. We still need more explanation on how Toko protected him all the way in, in the Gorman World. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyways, Komatsu still needs to come up. He still needs to come up. Let's get real. He needs to get physical prowess. He needs combat prowess. Maybe he'll get that over the Gorman World. Because what do we know? But I got to admit, you see my thumbnail. This dude, new le next level foes. Torko tries to do this uh this laser pointer, you know, the laser pointer of the, the transmitter to get the capture level. This dude's just chilling on this thorn wave, right? Just chilling, sipping some tea. He's got this like goatee action, little mustache. This dude just chilling. And it's like, yo, quick, he's quick as a mug. Yo. He had a backpack on and stuff. I didn't know he so this dude, watch out for this guy. I what well, is he a friend or foe? We don't know. But these Gourmet World inhabitants, thank you. We need them actual inhabitants. Not just creatures, we need inhabitants. Because we know that people live in the Gourmet World. Now, it says it's 70% of the whole entire world of Torco. And I notice this. Torco calls this Area 8. There are eight continents. And remember, they were said that the eight, you know, king piece, eight king beast species rule each continent. So that means we're going to meet each of the king beasts. That's what it goes. And actually... Akasha's full course uh, salad air is on this continent. So what that means is, when I'm from my, what I can take is that each of Akasha's full or Acacia's full course uh, ingredients are on each continent, or at least there's a way to get them. We know about air because we saw each Ryu. So this is the one they were on, where he was uh, cutting, cutting. It. Is it the same? Is it the same one that uh, Setsuno and Setsuno and um, Jiro are on? Are they on this continent? I'm not sure. But anyways, Air is on this one. And each ride had a big old massive stupid blade. Like, that thing was a mega saber thing, man. But anyways, so that's what I'm taking. Each, each continent, okay. And there's eight continents. Think about it like this. The Gourmet World in of itself is larger than earth because there are seven continents on the human planet on, on our earth there are eight continents on this one so even a gourmet world forget forget the 30 percent that's that you know forget that part the gourmet world itself is larger than the earth so you got like probably what three four i don't even know how many times bigger the torco world is from from the human world ridiculous ridiculous but uh yeah, so so they land they land on on the shore. They get there, they get past all these obstacles. And the the octomelons the step and they fall through. So what's what's gonna happen? I don't know. We will see, we will see. But this is this is exciting. We uh Gourmet World menu one air. This is part two. I either there's gonna be three parts of Torco or it, or the Gourmet World or or the Gourmet World like is just going to take forever. I don't see Torgo ending anytime under 700 some chapters. Anytime. Like, even think about it. Like, this whole, what was it, six, ten chapters of just prepping for the gourmet world. And now we finally in here and we, in all this craziness. Hey, you got to love it. And I wonder where the bewitching world is in Tangled Brunchies, Brunchies folk interesting but anyways the unexpected one to like comment subscribe tell me your thoughts on the chapter um yeah man we're in the gourmet world what more needs to be said all right y'all and by the way 6.5 out of 10 it was a good chap it was a yeah it was a good chapter of torco you know a bit of plot progression nothing spectacular happened we got a bit of important information and uh yeah go cool. till next time
Peace. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night.